Gregory Brown, what did you learn this week? So I learned this week from a professor at the University of Ottawa, capital of Canada. For those oh. who don't know, what a place. What a place. Wow, this sounds like it's going to be epic. It's like, epic. It sounded epic. like you were like in a lecture or something. From a university professor. I just love when I listen to science uh, news and it's a Canadian study. And I've noticed that a lot of Canadian scientists are highlighted a lot. Like Canada oh, has cool. good science funding. Okay. Anyways, this is about gentrification. So gentrification is defined as when more affluent people move into to an area of a city, usually where less affluent people have historically lived, and then they kind of take over, mm -hmm. and the businesses change, real estate prices increase, and potentially it pushes the original inhabitants of that area out. So mm -hmm. that's something, it's something that we hear about a lot. It, it actually relates a lot to hipster culture, like this idea of be like the artists slash gays is sometimes a stereotype, move into an area, and then it like goes up in value, and that's sort of like how cities like evolve and, and spread. Yeah. And so there's a lot of anecdotal stories about this, but not never really research. Mm -hmm. So this specific scientist wants to use Google Street View to actually document gentrification in real time by just looking at how buildings get renovated and put in like potentially gentrificated parts of uh, cities. cities because they haven't really ever been able to study it that well. So he's trying to raise money to ask Google to give over like the documents like and to actually mm -hmm. like use an algorithm to study so that there can right. actually be Have, like physical proof. evidence. Of yeah, physical evidence so that we can like move forward with like planning and like maybe thinking of ways to keep the people who have historically lived there to continue to live there. Essentially, gentrification, we talk about it all the time, but obviously you need studies and science to create action. So that's how they're doing it. Using that's Google really Street cool. Food. I will just yeah. add to that that a little shout out to some friends at Science Versus. They do have an episode on science uh, on the science of gentrification and it covers like what science is available right now. Huh. And, and it's really fascinating. Like some things that you think go one way, go the other way. There's no one takeaway because they tackle many different yeah. issues and see if they're true or false. I just found it really eye-opening and interesting as somebody who's like a liberal thinker, but you're able to like both find things that you're right about and things that you would, wouldn't have known. Exactly. And it's something that people talk about all the time anecdotally, but it's good to always have evidence to support claims. 